Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, fellow Ambazonians. My name is Fabiano Deco, uh, Ambazonian and human rights activist. And I've come here this day to send a message across to the Norwegian government, the Norwegian government, as an activist of the Ambazonian plight, of the Ambazonian struggle for independence. We have to be honest, we have to be genuine, and we have to do everything possible to protect our people. So I am coming at this time to first of all thank the Norwegian government for this particular effort because the arrest of Joe Ayaba is going to bring a lot of things to the limelight. It is actually a blessing in disguise. Fellow Amazonians, ladies and gentlemen, the Norwegian government should understand that this conflict is coming from a 60 year plus incomplete decolonization process whether we like it or not, that is the root cause of this particular conflict. And we cannot overemphasize because the, the Norwegian Refugee Council in 2019, they brought out a report which put this particular conflict at the top uh, 10 most neglected conflicts in the world. It has stopped that particular list for six years counting. I'm saying this out of research and information that is gotten from the Norwegian Refugee Council. Therefore, the people of Southern Cameroon at large are not only happy with the arrest of Cho Ayaba, who has actually committed crimes in this liberation struggle. We come here to say that our liberation cause is not that which put our population at risk because anyone who is in this liberation struggle who goes after the population is not worthy enough to be called a freedom fighter. You can go and check my social media platforms, my various handles. You can see that I have been consistent in decrying the degrading nature of human rights abuses. It is not only La Republic to Cameroon who commit crimes against humanity. The side of Ambazonia is also doing that. That is why when it comes to the issue of violence on both sides, we cannot speak, we cannot talk, we cannot argue that fact because it is clear, the picture is clear. And because of people like Cho Ayaba and his militia on the ground known as ADF, they are the ones who have made it impossible for us to be courageous enough to tell the international community that there is no violence on both sides. Now, this message is intended to give uh, a clue to the Norwegian government on our position as far as this liberation struggle is concerned, on our position vis-a-vis uh, -vis our plight, our journey to freedom land, away from the occupation of La Republic to Cameroon. And once more, we say thank you for the arrest of Cho Ayaba. Do your investigations. We will not influence your investigations. You know why you arrested Cho Ayaba. The evidence you have against him, let him face the law in Norway and let justice take its course. Cho Ayaba has done a lot of harm on our people. Those who want to sugarcoat it, those who want to defend Cho Ayaba, because La Republic du Cameroon is doing harm on our people, they want to use this as an excuse to shelter or to shield Cho Ayaba. We are telling the Norwegian government that it will not work. It will not work. We know that Norway is a country of laws. Norway is a country that has a reputation in human rights, a respect for human rights. And in that district court in Oslo, justice will prevail. And the people of Southern Cameroon, those victims, the families of those whom Cho Ayaba has hurt, has inflicted pain on, they are looking up to you to render justice to them. Let Cho Ayaba not only be the single person that will face justice, no. We are therefore calling on the Norwegian government to use her good offices to go far in bringing other culprits in bringing other perpetrators of crimes against humanity. God is using Norway to bring sanity into the Ambazonian struggle. God is using Norway as a referee in the Ambazonian struggle. It is true, Ambazonia is the weaker side, 
And Bazinia is the side that does not have international recognition. Yes, we are fighting for that, we understand. And the reason why Norway is hammering on Ambazonia is because they expected Ambazonians to be the better side. Because La Republic is already on the wrong side of history. La Republic is already known for violation of human rights. La Republic is well known for these things, for these crimes. So it is no news to the international community. But the international community expect Ambazonia to show the better example. The Norwegian government should go as far as investigating or getting, putting sanctions on La Republic du Cameroon officials. Yes, they can do that. They can use their good offices to also arrest La Republic du Cameroon officials. Paul Bia is number one. He should be called out for crimes against humanity. His militia on the ground, the BIR, the Army of La Republic, and all, whatever, they are doing horrible things in Southern Cameroon. This should not only be an affair that will end with Cho Ayaba. While we applaud the effort of the Norwegian government in arresting Cho Ayaba, that will bring sanity to the Ambazonian liberation struggle and then justice to those families who have been inflicted pain upon by this man. We are also calling on the Norwegian government to use her good offices to also do the same for La Republic and why not extend it into the Ambazonian struggle because there are some other people who are also part and parcel of this and who are just, you know, they are just benefiting from this chaos to do whatever they want to do. We believe in a genuine and honest cause. We stand to defend our people. We stand to be with them. Our rights to self-determination, our inalienable life rights, nobody is going to take it away from us. And we are seeing this move by Norway as a laudable one to bring sanity to our liberation struggle. Thank you, Norway. Thank you very much. And we are also telling the Norwegian government that they should not only end at this level, they should also continue in pushing for, pushing for the discussion of bringing a permanent political solution to this eight-year conflict in Southern Cameroon. Yes, a, a formal discussion at the United Nations Security Council will help bring a permanent political solution. The United Nations must complete the process that she left in Southern Cameroon. The incomplete decolonization process must be completed in Southern Cameroon. Oh yes, Norway, you can do that. We are looking up to Norway in making sure that these things happen. We are looking up to Norway, since Norway has opted to be the referee in this liberation course, they should not only end at that. They should continue. We are employing them that we support them. They should continue so they bring justice to those people who are victims of rights abuses. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, fellow Ambazonians, we are telling the Norwegian government that a United Nations Security Council back fact-finding mission to be sent on the ground to carry out a thorough investigation so that perpetrators of human rights abuses should be brought to book, whether Ambazonians or La Republic to Cameroon officials should be brought to book. This is our position and a permanent political solution be brought to this particular problem. If there is, if they are holding Benjamin Netanyahu in Israel, the Israeli Prime Minister for crimes against humanity, they should also hold Paul Bia for crimes against humanity. If they are holding Ambazonia, they should also hold a Republic official. That notwithstanding, I will end at this particular juncture. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Ambazonians, please make sure this video go as far as possible. The Ambazonian liberation cause is a genuine one. We must protect our people. Anybody who is going after the civilian population, you are going after non-combatants, you are going after those who are not carrying arms, you are committing crimes against humanity. It's a gross violation of human rights. We are making sure that our liberation struggle is kept on track and freedom we seek, freedom we shall get. Thank you for watching.